Hey guys, I'm Joel Hager, one of the founders of Dome Gaia. And, um, you know, I'm a little bit of a technologist. I've had a career in technology in the past, um, owned several companies, and so I'm always keeping up on some of the latest trends. And this seems maybe a little unrelated, but it's kind of fun. So I wanted to share it with you. Um, some of you may know, but there was just a chatbot GPT, which is a artificial intelligence chatbot that is available for beta and public use right now. And a lot of people are having fun with this on the internet, but I thought I would ask it some questions about Air Creek Domes today. And um, I've done this a little bit already, so I was pretty surprised, but I uh, wanted to share it here. So let's start off with just asking it. Now, I've never done this question before. So there are many questions you could ask me about air creek dome. Some examples of these questions you could ask include, what is an air creek dome and how is it different from other types of dome structures? What are the benefits of using air creek for a dome structure? What are the steps involved in building an air creek dome? What are some common applications for air creek domes? What are some challenges associated with building air creek domes? Um, are there any notable examples of air creek domes that I should know about? Uh, can you provide any information on the cost and availability, availability of air creek dome construction? <laughs> These are great questions. Now let's just say, thanks. Please answer these questions for me. Sure, I'd be happy to answer the questions about air creek domes. Here are answers to the questions. Number one. I don't think I'm going to read all this, but you will be amazed at how much it knows about air creek domes and the quality of the answers. It is by far one of the easiest and fastest ways to do research that I've found. Um, besides going to domegaia.com and getting information there, this is an amazing tool for all kinds of research in um, natural building and building information. Uh, now, not everything it says is accurate, um, and you can read the disclaimers if you decide to try this out. So you do have to kind of double check and discern um, the validity of the information. But from testing it with a wide range of topics, I found it to be incredibly useful. And again, compared to Google searching on subjects and sifting through lots of websites that are advertising, um, this really cuts to the chase. The other thing to note is that it's only trained on information up until I think about 2020 or maybe even 2019. So it is lacking current information on a lot of topics or any topic since then, that would be important. So, you know, that's worth noting as well. Um, so I'll take some time and read through this on my own and see what it says, but it's, it looks like a lot of really interesting and good content. Now, a couple other ideas, you know, I was, researching things like, you know, um, R value, R value versus thermal mass, um, understanding, you know, different types of uh, construction techniques. So um, like this was a good one. Uh, it, it, I spelled that wrong, but it is smart enough to figure that out. So dome buildings have several benefits compared to rectangular buildings. Some of the key benefits of dome buildings include structural efficiency. Dome buildings are inherently more structure, structurally efficient than rectangular buildings. This is because the shape of the dome distributes the weight evenly across the structure, which allows it to support more weight. Oh, I lost my spot without the need for additional reinforcement. This means that dome buildings can be built with less material and labor which can save time and money during construction. Energy efficiency. Dome buildings are also more energy efficient than rectangular buildings. Um, let's see, unique design, uh, flexible interior layout. Um, so, you know, this is, this is amazingly well-written content. So anyways, um, I hope you enjoyed this and find this interesting and I'd recommend playing around with it yourself. Um, if you do have any, you know, questions that uh, the chatbot doesn't know about air creep and dome buildings, definitely leave us a comment and let us know and we'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.